Dear Zoe, Enclosed is the key to our laboratory. Please report tomorrow after school to begin your new position. Thank you. Get in here. Did I leave the door open again? Who are you? I'm JD. And what does this thing do? It's very complicated. It vaporizes little girls who come in uninvited. Yeah, well, I think it's broken. Yeah, well, I tried everything. Did you try plugging this in? Yeah. Actually, no. Give me that. I knew that would work. Congratulations. You're a genius. Now, if you come with me, I'm late for an important meeting. Hey, no! Look, the modern advancements department is a dangerous place for a little girl. Why don't you head home? I gotta run. I'll see you later. Bye, nice to meet you. JD, where are you? Hey, I'm stuck in here! JD! JD! Uh, hi, what's your name? I'm Professor Barian Tiberius Bell. And who on earth might you be? Uh, my name's Zoe. Hey, what, is, what does that mean? It means JD made it. You should call him. Tell him to get back here right away. Hey, is this thing on? My hair is cool, right? I look good? Yeah? Okay. Are, are we filming? Hey, what's up, everybody? I made it just barely. One second. Hello? The professor says you need to come back right away. Didn't I tell you to go home? There's an emergency. Emergency? What? Did the battery in this laser pen run out again? Look, I can't go back now. I just got here to Wix. No way! That's awesome. What are you doing at Wix? I need to make a website, and it has to be up tonight. Look, I'm in a hurry. I gotta go. I gotta go find a senior web designer to help, help me make this website. Okay. All right. Bye. <sighs> Hi, um, I was told to get into contact with a senior web designer. You've came to the right place. Uh, let me contact Charlie for you. Okay. Ah! Hey. People keep scaring me today. It's all right. Hey, my name's Charlie. I hear you're looking for a web designer. Yes, How yes. Can I help you? Um, listen, I have to have a website done by today. Today? Yeah. Man, we can't waste any time. Uh, what should we use? HTML, PHP, Java, Flash? Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. You don't know what any of those things mean? You, those are all the basics of building a website. No. But don't tell the professor I don't know. Um, look, I just need to know how you build a website. Come with me, man. I hope you get started. All right. All right, check this out, JD. Okay. This is the internet as you see it, right? Yeah. It's nice. Well, check this out. This is the internet as it really is. 
<laughs> That's what I said. Websites are built using intricate code that when written properly can take something like this and make it look like that. Pretty wow. cool, right? Super cool. Mm -hmm. Well, first things first, we got to get you a domain name so people can find your website. Okay. Oh, I got one. MadScienceSanJose.com. And we just search just like that. <gasps> yes. <laughs> oh, it's available. Let's go ahead and get that. The next thing we're going to need for you is a web host. A host? Like me? <laughs> no, JD. Oh. Hosting is the process of taking the information that you want on the website and then for it to be broadcasted all over the internet. Mm. Luckily, Wix.com does that too. <laughs> Sweet. All right, now for the hard part. This is the hard part. Designing the website, JD. We could sit down and write the code by hand and that could take hours. Lucky for us, Wix.com actually makes it easy for you to build your website without having to code not one single line. Sweet. I don't know if I could learn a whole language in one day. Well, that's why the professor sent Rob down to the lab this afternoon to discuss technology, including HTML5. Because Wix.com wants to help the modern advanced department stay up on technology. Whew, that's a relief. I don't know if I could learn all of this and explain it as well you did. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what did he say? Is he coming back? No, but Wix looks totally yes, awesome. Yes, yes, quiet. Listen, we don't have time. I have a guest that's about to arrive. You are going to have to cover for us. What, what, what am I supposed to do? Improvise, I'm gonna try something. Hi, I'm Zoe, the new lab assistant. Hi, I'm Rob from Wix.com, here to see uh, Professor Bell about the Mad Science website. Great, why don't you have a seat? Okay. So the professor is um, busy right now, and he asked me to get the meeting started for him. So you're here about our website? Uh, that's right. So I understand the uh, Modern Advancements Department needs uh, help with the website. So where should we begin? Well, I'm not exactly sure. Maybe we could start from the beginning. I mean, how do you make a website? Uh, well, a website's a, a set of related pages that are hosted on a server, and then they can be accessed through a web browser. Okay, so then how do you make a web page? Okay, well, a web page is it's a document typically written in uh, HTML, and uh, this stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Have you ever heard of HTML? Yes, I have. Um, <laughs> JD was actually just telling me about HTML5, and what's the difference? Um, well, HTML5 is the newest version of HTML. It, uh, oh, okay. it allows you to access videos and audio a lot easier all through the browser. Cool. How do you access the pages once you have created them? Well, the website is created, you upload it to a server, and then it has a web address. So you enter that web address or URL into your web browser. It translates the HTML all in a second and displays the page. So it looks like we'll have to organize our information before we start building the website? Yeah, that's a great idea. It's very smart. So uh, what do you guys need for the website? <laughs> well, what I really need is help getting the professor out. Can we, can we do that? Well. Maybe if we put a contact form on the website, we can get in touch with them and try to work together and get them out. Sounds like a good idea. Want to give it a shot? Yeah. Stop. Whether it's on the way to school, at school, or online, bullying has become a non-stop threat to our youth today. Is your child being bullied? The National Runaway Switchboard can help. If you're having a hard time, get online or call to chat now.
Donate to Habitat for Humanity Greater San Francisco and let your change become the change a family needs. Habitat for Humanity Greater San Francisco. Building homes and hope in Marin, San Francisco, and the peninsula. Okay, JD, now that we have your domain name picked out, let's get started with using Wix.com's free website builder. Free? I like the sound of that. It's really easy to use, and it has everything that you need to make your website stand out. Okay. You just simply point, click, drag and drop. See right here? We added a slideshow. No programming needed. You just choose the pictures that you want, point and click, and here's the slideshow. Tell me, JD, what do you want on your website? I know I want to have a logo that we designed. Okay. I know I want to have a trivia section. Okay. Uh, a DIY section. Okay. Okay, I want to have a, a discussion section. All right, now that's a tall order. Oh, one more thing, one more thing. Okay. okay. Um, of course, we got to have a section about me, JD. <laughs> of course, we got to do that, JD. Uh -huh. Now that's a tall order, but I think we can do it. Okay. And again, if we were to sit down and do HTML code by hand, this would take days and weeks to put the website together. I can imagine. But look how far we've gotten so far. And now for the most important part, since we want to help the professor, we got to get that contact form up and running, okay? Oh. How do you make it change? So with a couple of easy clicks, now we're at the contact form. Hmm. Now with the contact page, it's easy for anyone all over the world to send a message directly to the Mad Science Lab. Wow. It comes in handy for times when the professor gets himself into trouble. I got a special treat for you, JD. Okay, let me see. Now, you said you wanted a page that's all about you. <laughs> of course. Now check this out. <gasps> wow. So now when people come onto the website, they can learn all about you, JD. And you notice I put your links here for Facebook, Twitter, and even your YouTube page. Awesome. Oh, hey, if you guys are watching this right now, I need you guys to click on the links. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, follow me. And that's how easy it is. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure, JD. Now, uh, I wanted to ask you some questions about Wix. Okay. Well, let's go over to the Wix Lounge and let's have a talk. Okay. So uh, first of all, I just want to ask, how did Wix get started? Well, Wix got started around 2006, and it was founded by three brothers who had a vision for simplifying the process of how websites were made. Okay, well, how did Wix change over the course of time since technology advanced? With the latest technologies such as HTML5, we've grown from just being one small platform to being able to offer both a Flash website an HTML website, as well as a mobile site, and even a blog. What's in store for the future of Wix? So, as technology continues to grow and become more complex, here at Wix.com, our goal is to simplify the process to make sure that everyone is able to build a website, no matter your occupation, no matter your age, no matter your education level. If you have an idea, if you have a vision for what you want, Wix.com will help you get there. Well, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you for everything you taught me today. Yo, Charlie, I just want to thank you so much for your time. Thank you for, you know, showing me how to do a website. And uh, I'm going to go back to the lab now and show the professor what we worked on. Well, it's my pleasure, J.D., but before you go, I have a present for you. Oh, you got me a present? You're going to need this. I want to need this? Oh, yeah. For what? Oh! JD, coming from the Wix Lounge. I'll see you guys back in the lab shortly.
looks like JD's making some really good progress, and this is really cool. So just out of curiosity, how did you become interested in web design in the first place? Well, I first started making web pages when I was probably about your age. I uh, wanted to make a Star Wars website, <laughs> so I, uh, I learned a little bit of HTML, and at that time you had to write everything by hand. So oh, I was wow. just writing code and all just in, in Notepad. It was it's gotten a lot easier since then. Yeah. So. Did you go to college to study your career in this field? Or? Um, well, I did go to college, but I actually studied film and television. Oh. The thing about Wix is that you can really be anybody. You can be an artist, a musician. It's, it's just easy. If you have an idea, you can probably make it happen. That's cool. So what do you enjoy most about being a web designer? Well, you know, it's, every project's different. So you get a new project, and you have to figure out how to make it work and mm. make sure that it looks good. and you know, really make sure that your client's happy too, but every time it's different, so there's always new technologies and things you can introduce. It's a new pro new day every time. Cool, so what do you find most challenging about your job? Probably the same thing, <laughs> actually. You know, trying to make sure that everything fits, and uh, you know, there's a lot of challenges, and most importantly, making sure that it looks good. Yeah, so what would you recommend to someone who's just starting out or who's interested in pursuing a career as a web designer? I mean, the best way to learn is just to start doing it. You can, mm -hmm. you know, log on, use the software, and if you have an idea, you can probably make it happen. Like I said, it's just practice makes perfect, and the, the more you do it, the easier it's going to get and the better you're going to be at it. Sounds like some good advice. Um, and is the website up? Can we contact the yeah, professor? Yeah, we're pretty much done. Uh, we just have to republish here, and uh, we should be able to contact the professor, no problem. Great. All right. You're all set. Nice. No problem. Looks like my work here is done. Thank you so much. You taught me a lot. Yep. No problem. And if you guys need anything else, you can always give us a call back at the office, 1-800-6000-WIX, <laughs> and we'd be happy to help you out. You know, I'm pretty sure the professor will be calling you quite a lot soon. That's all right. Thank you again. No problem. Stop. Whether it's on the way to school, at school, or online, bullying has become a non-stop threat to our youth today. Is your child being bullied? The National Runaway Switchboard can help. If you're having a hard time, get online or call to chat now. Hey, Professor, whatever your name is, what's going on back there? I give up. I'm probably going to die in here. No, you're not going to die. We'll find a way to get you out. Don't bother. Don't bother. No, it's all over for me. No, well, we will think of something, okay? Why don't you tell me a story to get your mind off of it? All right. The internet was created by DARPA scientists in the late 1960s. They never thought it was going to be more than a way for a few government computers to send information to each other. In the 1990s, a bill was passed that allowed for the creation of the infrastructure that became the backbone of the internet in the United States. Today, thousands of miles of fiber optic lines run 
all over the country, all over the world, even under the ocean. The whole world is now connected by the internet. You can send someone a message thousands of miles away in just a few seconds. It's really amazing when you think about it. The internet is a giant network of computers that know how to talk to each other. See, a, a web page is just a file that's saved on a server. Um, and a server is just a special computer that knows how to listen to other computers and pass those messages along. The TCP IP protocol, <laughs> that helps get those messages sent. If a computer drops off of the network, TCP IP automatically finds a way to get those messages through. Now, the internet is built to automatically fix itself. You see, the more computers that are in the network, the better the system works. And a oh, HTML, that stands for Hypertext Markup Language. And when you use a browser to open an HTML, things like, oh, how big to make it or what color to make the text, all those things can be described with just a little tiny bit of code. The coolest thing about HTML is that it lets you create links to other pages. See, <laughs> this means that the people can find whatever they want by following the links and surfing the web. Hey, what are these numbers? Could this be a code, maybe? Maybe it'll get the professor out of wherever he is. Hmm. Hmm. With the contact form up, I can email the professor. You know, there's a multitude of reasons why that software could have crashed and, and made the door lock freeze. That's, that's a whole bunch of reasons why we could examine them all or we could make a flowchart. What's a flowchart? flowchart is a way of organizing information. It's a way of looking at things scientifically. See, okay. science begins with an observation. The door is locked. If the door is not locked, but is the door locked? Yes. Well, what if it's not locked Then it's just stuck? That's a hypothesis. We could test that. Are you okay? Science hurts sometimes. The door is not uh, stuck. So, it must still be locked. Well, what if I uh, <laughs> just lost my keys? The door doesn't even use keys. Okay, so the door is still locked, yes. And that brings us to this possibility, <laughs> however unlikely, that I forgot my code. Really? Does this happen often? Well, I didn't. That's the point of that. So when we begin with science, we start with an observation. Yes, locked. Yes, stuck. No, yes. And then we test it. We tested stuck. Was it stuck? We tested the keys. It's no keys. So, how would we test that? I have an idea. There's no way to test it. Mm -hmm. You go back in the lab, lock the door behind you. If you can remember the code to get out, then we need to come up with a new hypothesis, right? Yes. But I didn't forget my code, and I'll prove it. A little help, please? <laughs> I'm on it. <clears throat> well, it's a good thing you were here today. Uh, who are you exactly? I'm your new lab assistant. I mean, I got this letter in the mail, and I have the key to your lab in it and everything. Let me see that. I didn't write this. I have no idea who sent this. 
But if you didn't send it, then who did? It's a mystery. Listen, I'm glad you were here to cover today, but we do a lot of very top secret work here, and it's no place for kids. Such a good job today. Well, well, that's true. You, you did really save the day. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll tell you what. If you do your homework, then maybe next week you can come back and help me with an experiment or something. And you can show me your secret lab. Oh, no. No, no, no. You can't ever ask about the secret lab. Don't. I? That's where I do my top secret projects. And you can't. What's the top secret project? You can't ever, ever ask me about my top secret projects. Now, go along home before I change my mind. OK. I'll see you next week. <laughs> Where is everybody? Hey. All right, so today we learned how the internet works and how to build a web page. Huh. That kind of reminds me of a little rhyme I wrote. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. I'm gonna teach you something new. You can call me a tutor. The internet's a huge network of computers. A server? Well, that's a special computer. Sending messages to other networks to Bermuda. And a web page is a file that's saved on a server. So you might click on it with your cursor. HTML helps to surf the web. Did you get what I said? Faster than a jet, that's the internet. Uh. If you want to learn more, look us up online, and you can always get in touch with the Modern Advancements Department at MadScienceSanJose at gmail.com. Hope to see you guys next week, and this is JD. I'm out. Peace. Uh, uh, yeah. Swaggy, 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 swaggy.